Okay, this is part two uh, video comparing three single AA lights, except uh, this video I'm doing 14500 batteries, uh, the lithium ion batteries in each of these lights. This is the Phoenix LD10. Uh, the previous video I just used standard any loops. And this camera is on manual exposure for this video, and I'm using the same exposure settings as the last video. So um, things might be a little blown out here, um, but it, these lights are a lot more bright, brighter with uh, the 14500. So the LD10, that wall behind that table is 16 feet and the fireplace is at 36 feet. So that's the LD10 R5. This is the Xeno neutral white. That's medium. That's low. That's high. This is the Xeno EO3 um, with the lithium ion 14500 uh, neutral white. Uh, this is really a nice light with the 14500. In the previous video you saw with the single AA uh, Sanyo Any Loop, it really wasn't all that great. Um, but with the 14500, I really like this. I mean, it's really a nice color, beautiful, smooth, uh, wide beam. Okay, now we're going to compare this to the Through Night 1A. Through Night 1A um, has a very nice output as well. The color temperature is a lot different, it's um, more purplish. Uh, bluish tint um, doesn't really show up that well in the video, but the output is pretty similar, I think, um, as far as brightness goes. But I prefer the Xeno just because of the, the color temperature. With this neutral white, I just, it just really it just looks so much nicer, I think, um, just using the light. Um, I really like it. So this is back to the Through Night 1A, the Xeno. And I have to soft soft touch it through because the Xeno always starts on medium so I have to go to medium, it's ultra low, and then it goes to high so this is the Xeno, we'll go back to the 14.5, or I'm sorry, the Phoenix LD10 Phoenix LD10 is a screamer as well on the 14.500 and you can really see the spot is really hot um, doesn't have as much of a spill um, where you see this kind of lights up the whole room and the LD10 it's more of a much hotter spot. Um, the only problem with this LD10 with a 14500, you don't have any low modes. This thing runs full blast until the battery dies. I've already cycled a couple 14500s through, and actually, I can never get to a low mode. The uh, these are AW 14500s, and the uh, I think the protection kicks in on the battery before I can even get to a low mode um, before the voltage drops down low enough that the uh, Phoenix LD10 can actually use a low mode. So I actually don't like the uh, LD10 for that reason with a 14500. I really like the LD10 with a Sanyo Any Loop though. Let's go back to high. This is the Xeno EO3. Um, and one more time we'll go back to the Through Night. The Through Night is very bright as well. Um, these, two, two, these two lights are actually really comparable I think in output. I actually like the Xeno a little bit better as far as build quality goes. Uh, the Through Night has some build quality issues. I actually have a piece of aluminum foil. I'll go back here, this is a Through Night. Um, a piece of aluminum foil jammed in the head just to get this AW battery to fit right. The head wobbles a little bit. I have a little spongy uh, tail clicky where the uh, the Xeno is, is really built well. I mean it's, it's a solid light. Clicky's nice. Um, everything about it is really nice. Um, the only problem with the Xeno, it's not regulated. And um, as I use it more and more, I kind of don't like that because the 14500, as it runs down, you're going to notice that the, uh, the output just starts dying as well. Um, and that's one major drawback, I think, to the Xeno. But if that doesn't bother you, um, and you don't mind it kind of getting dimmer over time, uh, the Xeno with the 14500 is a really nice light with the uh, Although I see it like kind of flickering a little there, that was kind of interesting. Um, but with the 14500 and the neutral white, it's it's a really nice light. So one more time, we'll go back to the LD10. You can see this spot is very bright, and I'll compare that over to the uh, through night. The through night. You still get your low modes. It has an ultra low mode of, I think, uh, 0.01 lumens, uh, which is awesome. 
Um, so overall, I mean, the, th the through night is has the best extremes with a 14500 for a single AA light. You get a great maximum output, and I can twist the head, drop it into its ultra low mode, and it is with a 14500. I mean, you can I can look right at it. It's super dim. So it has the best of both worlds as as far as bright and dim. If it wasn't for the build quality, uh, I'd probably actually use it more. But honestly, uh, I've been kind of leaning towards the Xeno. Uh, but hopefully that gives you guys an idea of the three lights on a 14500.